Hello friends, welcome back to our course Math Essential for Machine Learning and today we are going to discuss a very important topic called Hessian Matrix. So we will see what Hessian Matrix is and how it is helpful in our data analysis right, or in machine learning. So Hessian Matrix helps in organizing uh, all second order derivative into a matrix form. Okay. Now what does that mean? So suppose I have a function and we have seen this last time as well. Okay, so I have x and y, so I have two variables and this could be your area in, area in square feet and the number of bedrooms in the house, right? And so I have a function which looks something like this. So if I take a particular point here and I want to see if my x changes, then how my function is going to change. So they say this is my sale price, how my uh, sale price is going to change and if I change y then how is my sale price going to change and what happens if I change both right now what happens is when you have more and more variables it becomes really hard to keep a track of all these variables see underlying it all behaves like the single variable problem but then when you have multiple uh, variables they all also interact with each other right so in order to simplify that we have something called as Hessian matrix and it basically stores the you know the second order derivative so typically it is given by the bold h alphabet with a superscript of f and it looks something like this so in this case where we have two variables it would look something like as the double derivative or the second order derivative of the function with respect to x and double derivative with respect to f given by dx dy so remember we had changing x and y both similarly we can have df dy dx and we have double derivative with respect to y okay so this is in case of when we have uh, two variables right uh, say uh, as I told you area or say the number of bedrooms we can also have three variable Hessian matrix and it just you know it's a matter of tracking all these items so it can have d square f dx square then we have d square f dx dy and don't worry we are going to explain all these things in a step by step manner for the time being just make keep in mind that Hessian matrix is just storing all these derivatives in a matrix form so that it becomes easier for us to track them okay so then we have d square f dy dx then we have d square f dy square and then we have d square f so the second line is basically the derivative with respect to y after you have done the derivative for x y and z individually and then we have d square f for you can guess it dz dx then we have d square f for dz dy and then we have the d square f with respect to dz square right now as we keep more and more adding variables this matrix will just keep increasing okay now this is the purpose of Hessian matrix of course not just to represent them in the form of a matrix but we will use this matrix to identify the local minimum and or local maximum of the function and that is where Hessian matrix comes into picture and also at times it will be also very critical to find those local minimum and maximum using this uh, Hessian matrix so we have additional concepts such as trace uh, or the determinant of a Hessian matrix. So we, we are going to look into all those uh, scenarios. Uh, so let's continue that in our next video.